guys welcome back to another little um cooking video so we're gonna be making some grilled cheese sandwiches um that's kind of what we're craving right now and i thought this would be a perfect time to go ahead and do a little mini cooking video with you guys so before we go ahead and jump into it don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel Please go ahead and consider subscribing, joining the family. We'd love to have you guys. If you're already subscribed, thank you very much for doing so. We appreciate the support. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get into it. Um, hope you guys are doing well. Grilled cheese is like one of my favorite comfort foods. Um, I don't know if you guys... If you live somewhere where the climate is cold half of the year, if you guys have winter, all that stuff, then you guys know it's all about the comfort foods. You know, when you're inside, when it's cold like it is today, it's snowed and it's continuing to snow. So you kind of want that snuggy, breakfasty feel to last kind of like throughout the day especially on a Sunday so we like to make comfort foods um, sometimes we'll have it for dinner sometimes we'll have for lunch it's really like something that you can eat throughout any time of the day which is something like grilled cheese french toast pancakes things that are easy to make quick and um, or you can have like sausages egg bacon that type of vibe so we love a good grilled cheese sandwich i personally like mine with maple syrup um i know some people eat theirs with ketchup other people just eat it plain um everybody has their way of eating it so i like syrup my daughter she does not so we're gonna go ahead and uh, make two grilled cheese sandwiches so we can both go ahead and enjoy it um the way we like so First things first, obviously, we have to get the ingredients out. Let me know in the comment section if you guys like grilled cheese. Um, let me know if you eat it, if you make it, what's your favorite way to make it. I don't really have a specific way. I kind of just do it my kind of way, just, you know, a regular way, the way I've been doing it forever. But everyone has a different way of doing it. I was, I was kind of craving um, French toast, but I think I'll do that another time. That will require much more prep. And we just want to kind of do something easy and quick with you guys. And I don't want to have to beat eggs and get cinnamon and do all that. So I think French toast is, I mean, I think grilled cheese is perfect. So we got the uh, four slices of bread you guys can see we have our four slices of bread now we're gonna get out our butter <sighs> where's my butter oh it's literally right here in the door so we're gonna get out the butter um also i gotta grab butter knife uh cheese slices most importantly and we just bought a new pack of cheese Moi, you don't want the um you don't want the bologna? Okay. Sometimes we like to switch it up a little bit and I'll make fried cheese and bologna sandwiches. It's supposed to be grilled cheese, but we'll slide a piece of bologna in the middle. And it's so good. Oh my god, it's so good. I'm tempted to make one now, but I'm kind of I'm just gonna keep it simple. So here is our sliced cheese that I'm gonna be using. Um, I'm just going to have to open it to the new pack. Okay, so we have our two slices. So first things we're going to do is, I have a little bit of oil in here. I might put a little bit more. Just a little bit more. And while the oil is heating up, I'm going to go ahead and butter up my bread. I like to use a lot of butter it makes it makes the bread fry a little bit crispy it gives that crispy golden look which we love in a good grilled cheese sandwich okay making sure you guys can see all right so 
Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and just move this to the side so I don't have to stretch over the pan. Uh, just tell you guys what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna go ahead and butter the sides of the bread. So that's what I'll be doing while the oil is heating up. So I'm just gonna turn this on and put it to like a seven while I butter this bread. This cheese in. First thing I'm gonna do is add in my slice of cheese. Sorry, that should have been the first step. Adding in my slice of cheese. You would have thought I've never done this before and I've done this like a million times. But you kind of just follow the steps in your head. But when you're saying it, you, you kind of have to say it in order. So, put it in my cheese slices. Then we're going to butter the bread. I've made them into the cheese sandwiches I'm gonna go ahead and butter the bread and I have a little way of doing it I like to butter one side first put it in the pan then I'll butter the other side while it's in the pan because I don't like trying to like flip it I don't want to flip it over because a lot of the butter comes off on the plate so I just butter it while it's in the pan I don't know if anybody else does that let me know in the comments if you butter the second side while it's in the pan or do you butter it while it's on the plate i think it's just easier to do it while it's in the pan and that way i get to spread on i get to lather on the butter <clears throat> and i'm using i think this is margarine i think it's butter butter it's kind of similar to I can't believe it's not butter. So we have on a good little base amount for the first one. Let me show you guys. Nice and buttered. And the pan sounds like it's nice and hot. So I'm just going to go ahead and, yep, the oil is starting to jump. So we're going to go ahead and just add on just a little bit more butter like around the edges of the bread because I want it to be nice and crisp so I like to butter the edges and we're gonna go ahead and slide it on and it's gonna start cooking right away you guys can hear that it's starting to cook right away while that's happening I'm gonna start buttering the other sandwich that I have here on the plate Keep a close eye on this. So I'm gonna get my spatula. My trusty spatula. And we're just gonna, you know, let that cook. And then we'll gently flip it over. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna continue to butter this other side. This other sandwich over here, I'm going to start buttering it. <clears throat> Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys enjoyed your weekend. Hope everybody is, you know, got to relax and enjoy their downtime. Spend time with their loved ones. The weekend goes by so fast. It is unreal. Time is just speeding along. Okay, so now I feel like I'm going to go ahead and check what the side is looking like. Let me just check. Okay, yeah, I can flip it over. Nice and golden. And I'll probably flip it a couple times. This is just the initial flip or the first flip. We'll let the other side start cooking. Turn it just a little bit. And you guys can see, and I continually pat it down because I like it. We like it flat, nice and cooked, and the edges are nice and golden because they had that butter on it. It's gonna be so good. So I have the next sandwich buttered on one side, all ready to go. So 
gonna let that cook for a bit we'll do the same process I'm gonna come back and show you guys what it's looking like when the first one is finished so stay tuned if you haven't liked the video go ahead and like it up for us please every like counts it helps us a lot so don't forget to like um, if you haven't yet subscribed please go ahead and consider subscribing um, joining the family we'd love to have you as I said in the intro and stay tuned we're gonna be back okay guys I'm back so the first sandwich is done as you guys can see well done to be exact which is just the way I like it because I'm gonna put honey um, well syrup on it so I like it to be a little bit crisp flip it over next side is nice and done as well yum so I'm just gonna go ahead and slide it into the plate And I'll get some oil, put it in the pan, and we'll get the next one ready to go. And this one will be for Kumoy. We'll let the pan heat a little bit. Go ahead and switch the oil around. Let that heat up. While the oil is heating up, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys about the new subby giveaway if you're a new subscriber and you want to take part in this giveaway all you have to do is comment hashtag new subby down below under any of our videos also message me on instagram hashtag new subby along with your youtube username please make sure you are subscribed to the channel and yeah you'll be entered into the giveaway so i think the pan is heated you can always tell by how the oil is so runny. That means it's really hot. It's thinned out. So I'm going to go ahead and put this other one down. Pretty sure it's ready to go. Yes. Hear that sizzle. Start cooking right away. So I'm going to turn this way down. Because now the pot's really hot. So it doesn't need to be so high. I don't want it to burn. She likes hers to be more of a golden. Whereas I like mine to be more of a toasty color. So we'll go ahead and let that cook for a little bit. Rinse my hands off. And I like to kind of wipe as I go. So I'm just going to make sure, you know, keep the stove nice and wiped down. And yeah, guys, that's it. Very, um, very simple. This is comfort foods. Oh, and I'm here talking about you guys. Did not even remind me. I did not butter the other side of the bread. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm here talking with you guys and I completely forgot I'm supposed to butter the other side of the bread. And Kumo is looking at me like you better not burn my stuff. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have to move quickly so I can flip it over. Oh. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Boom. Ooh, barely made it, but we made it nice and golden, not burnt. Okay. Whew. That was close. So now we'll just go ahead and turn this way down and let the other side cook. And I'll go ahead and flatten it a little bit with the spatula. Ooh, guys, that was fast. I just noticed, I just noticed the top of the bread was just like, Oh, white. So I remember it's not buttered. Ooh, more than oh my goodness. That's why I have to pay attention. I be doing too much, guys. I be multitasking on a whole other level. Doing too much. Sometimes. Okay. So I think, uh, this is good. Let me just check the other side. I don't want to really add any more oil. I think we have enough. Uh, this is not. We're going to need a little bit more oil in the pan. And I'm going to need to turn the pan a little bit more up. Oil. What did I just say? 
I need to turn it up a little bit more. Jesus. I must be really hungry. So we're just going to add a little bit more oil. That's one thing I noticed when you're making French toast or grilled cheese. It sucks up a lot of oil. So I just like to push, move that around, get that oil all around, and it should be good to go. And let's turn this up a little bit to five, not too, too high. And there you have it guys, our grilled cheese sandwiches when it's all done. So if you've made it to the end of the video, I'm not going to keep you guys too long. If we've made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching and we appreciate your time. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to like, comment, leave a comment. Let us know how you guys feel about grilled cheese sandwiches. Are you a grilled cheese sandwich fan or are you more of a, um, what's the other one? French toast. Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. Stay up and stay blessed. Until next video, um, definitely, definitely stay safe. Deuces, guys.